Hey, what is going on guys? Cisco here. And in this video, I wanted to do a get response review. I wanted to show you, I wanted to start with actually the plans, the pricing of get response. Also, um, some of the features that it has, the tools, and how you can start to create your autoresponder list as well as your newsletters. Okay, so with that said, let's get into the video. All right, so here we are. This is their pricing page. This is Get Responses pricing page. So as you can see right here, they are they are having a sale. This is a Black Friday uh, sale that they have. Uh, they're doing a forty percent off. But if we come down here, um, I'm going to start here with the free plan. So this is the plan that pretty much everybody starts with. Um, you can have up to five hundred contacts in this plan. And what it includes is, and by the way, you don't ever have to put in your credit card details or anything like that. All you have to do is just sign up uh, for a free account and you're good to go pretty much. So you have acts, you can act, um, you can put in 500 contacts. You can have unlimited newsletters. You can also create one landing page and host it. Okay. And you have a, uh, this is a monthly limit of 1000 visitors. You can also create a website if that's what you want or a blog and you can also host it and you also have access to some essential features like galleries pop-ups and forms uh, of course you can connect your domain if you are going to be creating either one of these and also you could have access to sign up forms and pop-ups which i already mentioned that in the website builder okay so that is the free plan that they have so these are the pretty much the tools that you have access to with the free plan and once you get past 500 contacts so once you get to like 501 and so on then you're going to be taken here to this plan this is the email marketing plan and pretty much you can have up to 1000 contacts with this plan now like i said since they do have a black friday sale currently you can um Oh, this is actually a 12 months. So going here to monthly, if you were going to pay monthly, which is what how I pay, um, it would be it would go from $19 a month and currently at $16.15 a month. Now, the features that you would have access to are you would have access to the autoresponders, OK, which you didn't have here on the free plan. You can have unlimited landing pages, unlimited website builder, basic segmentation. So pretty much this is based on contact details that are stored in your account. Um, also email scheduling. So if you want to schedule out your emails and, you know, send them on certain days and times. Um, and also you have access to integrations and API. So if you want to, you know, integrate different tools like ClickFunnels or whatever type of tool that you use or WordPress, you can go ahead and do so here with this integration. Now I am currently here because I do have a little bit over a thousand contacts. I have something like 1200. So I'm currently here at the 2,500 contacts um, plan. And um, this one, I actually paid $29 a month, but um, this is, um, you know, really good offer here at 2465. So that is what the um, plans look like. Now, I, I'm not going to speak on these two because I personally never use them. I haven't had a chance to check this out, so I don't know um, what this is all about. But now that I showed you the plans, I'm going to go ahead and show you what the actual um, get response backend looks like. OK, so this right here, this is my dashboard, as you can see. Now, it's it's pretty easy to navigate. Um, that's one of the things I really love about get response. And right here, if you go to contacts, click on it. I'm going to go ahead and show you. So I have um, currently I have these three lists right here, but this is the one that I'm working on, the top one. And um, as you can see here, it's very straightforward for you to create a list. All you have to do is pretty much click here, create list, name your list and click on create. Right. Once you've created your list, all you have to do is come here to the three little dots here and start adding your autoresponders if you are on the paid plan if you're on the free plan then i'm sure it's going to give you the option to create newsletters and um you can go ahead and do so so i'm going to show you with the autoresponders so pretty much show autoresponders and this is it right here so you have the option you can go ahead and click this button to start creating your autoresponder 
Or you can do what I like to do and is go here to these little nine dots. Just click on these and you can easily start to create it here. So here, as you can see, it, 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 it kind of looks like a, like a calendar type layout. So you can start from day zero. Day zero meaning that uh, as soon as the person opts into your autoresponder, as soon as they do that, they're gonna get the first email uh, sent out to them. So that is day zero, then you move on to day one, day two, day three, so, so on and so forth. And you can put in as many emails as you want in your autoresponder. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what the newsletter looks like. So right here, show newsletters. This again, if you are starting with the free plan, so boom, right here, this is uh, the, the newsletters. And um, again, you could just pretty much click on create newsletter here and it's gonna go ahead and allow you to do so. Now, all you have to do is just name your newsletter. Now me, I'm a beginner. I'm just starting this uh, journey of email marketing. So I'm a little bit, you know, I'm a, I'm a little bit of a newbie when it comes down to this. I just name my newsletters, newsletter number one, number two, and so on. And um, here you would have to put in an email address. Now I do suggest that you create a professional email. So as you can see, I have a Gmail here, but actually this is my uh, professional email, hi at ciscojds.com. So you do need to create a professional email in order for your emails not to get sent to spam. And then here, all you would do is just create your subject line and add the recipients. So um, who, who, you, who do you want your newsletters to go out to? So if you want it to go out to all, uh, for example, all 1,200 of your uh, contacts or, um, you know, you want to filter your list or segment your list, then you can go ahead and do so right there. And then finally, you can go ahead and design the, um, the layout of your email. So to design it, uh, pretty much they give you a bunch of different templates. I don't use any of this temp these templates because personally I've heard that these templates can get you in the spam box. Um, so it's not a good idea to, to actually do um, send out emails with these templates. Now they do look really nice, but I prefer to create my emails from the blank templates. So I actually go here and use this blank template to create the email. And it's pretty straightforward. I mean, you have here this logo area on top, but if you don't have a logo, you can just simply click on here and then toggle this off and then toggle this off where it says show logo. So boom, there you have it. And then here where it says drop blocks, you're gonna actually go ahead and create this plus sign here and it's gonna give you these basic blocks here on the right side of the monitor. So once you do that, you can just simply drag here the uh, block that you want. So for example, I just want a text block. So I'm gonna drop it in there and um, it's that easy. And then once you do that, you can just come up here and you can select how you want your layout to look. So what do you, what type of font do you want? The size of your font, if you want to, um, you know, bold it and you know, all the different things that you can do here. If you wanna maybe, if you're collecting people's first names as well, then you can go ahead and select the first name. I mean, it gives you a ton of different options. That's the reason that I, it makes it so easy for you to work with GetResponse. And then finally, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the tools that um, GetResponse actually comes with. So going back here to my dashboard, I'm gonna go back to, oh, here actually, tools. And then I'm gonna click here and show you. So for example, like I mentioned, you have the website builder. You also have your landing pages here, and it's pretty much very easy to create your website. They do, again, give you a bunch of different templates that you can use. So for example, they, you come here and um, create a site and promote your business online. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and click this create website. Now, it gives you two different options, right? Use an AI power builder or use a ready-made template. I've never actually used this one, but I do have a video um, showing you how you can create your website using their templates. I'm gonna leave a link to that video up here if you do wanna create a website using GetResponse. Now, they give you all different types of categories as well that you can select from. And um, that's pretty much it about the website builder. Now, you can also go here if you wanna cr uh, create your website um, from a blank template. It's not actually, well, actually, yeah, you do have the option to create it with a completely blank template, 
but um, they do also give you these um like mapped out type templates that you can use now going back here to tools i'm going to go ahead and show you um landing pages same thing you all you have to do is just create landing page here and um, it's going to give you a bunch of different templates that you can pretty much select from okay so you have a bunch of different templates here and um going back now if you want to for example the uh you have the option to create also conversion funnels this is actually another cool feature that they offer or tool and um to, for a conversion funnel the cool thing is that you don't even have to create a lead magnet so now these lead magnets that they give you are pretty much for like um let's say if you are in the make money online niche type thing um, then you can go ahead and choose from any of these. So for example, if you are, um, if you are doing like, um, check this out here, let me see. So if you're doing anything related to like digital ads, like uh, Facebook or, or anything like that, you can select this type of uh, lead magnet, how to use digital ads to grow. I believe it's to grow your sales and, um, let me see what this says. Yeah, your sales and revenue. So as you can see, they have here the Facebook that I mentioned, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, and um, you know, you could give this away and actually start to collect leads. Now, the way that I am collecting my leads is, is a little bit different. I'm not actually doing any type of paid marketing. I'm actually using Facebook groups to collect my leads. So I'm also gonna leave you a video showing you how exactly I'm going about that. If you're just starting out and you wanna start collecting leads and doing your email marketing all right so guys i hope you got value from this video if you did make sure you smash that like button also make sure you subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell icon with that said thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye for now